Many of the sounds that you hear around me right now are sources of pollutants. We've got buses, we've got trucks getting close to a rush hour time, so there's more and more traffic. All of those are emitting pollutants that are important that go into the mix of the city. 54% of the world's population now lives in urban centers. And each of our cities, our systems, and our energy choices, our transportation choices, the weather, all inform the quality of life that we experience in cities. So for regular citizens, it's not always easy to find out what their air quality is at the street level. By making this kind of information available and accessible to everyone, we're hoping that regular citizens and decision makers alike can all join in and be part of that dialogue to make improvements to our environment, to our air. Putting air monitors in vehicles where we actually map all the streets of a community throughout a state or a country was an idea that came from the Google Acloma interaction that we hadn't thought of that seemed like an obvious next step and a perfect way to move this whole science forward. Having a combination of big data and good sensor technology also with miniaturization and low cost, that's really going to expand the usefulness of air pollution data. Being able to see the air around you through the data that would come out of mobile monitoring gives us opportunities that we had never thought that we would have before. There's a global call for hyper-local air quality and climate data right now. Citizens, scientists, policymakers, businesses, governments around the world need access to this information. Our initial test of our ability to map the environment was performed in Denver. Through our relationship with the EPA, we we're aware of a couple of research programs that were occurring in Denver during the summer of 2014. This was a really unique opportunity for us to work with ACLMA. ACLMA brought this whole new generation in thinking of how we could actually use sensor technology. What was really exciting in Denver is that we were able to instrument three cars, three Google Street View vehicles. That allowed us to map intensely maybe one region of the city or have our cars being in different regions of the city. Denver demanded incredible effort, an incredible amount of resources, and endless hours to really deliver on the platform. And so it helped Acloma and Google understand exactly what it was going to take to scale this. We already had the infrastructure, both software and hardware built up to be able to put a sensor in a car, read that data, and automatically have it go to our system for processing. We had already developed those tools by our large-scale indoor deployment. This year we tested the technology in Denver and it worked great. And so over the next year we're going to be testing it and see how viable it is to measure air pollution in more cities at the same time. We will be expanding our mapping efforts to the Bay Area and working with communities and community groups here and scientists to really explore the possibilities embedded in this information. Our hope is that one day this information is as accessible as the weather that you can access this information on a daily basis and that together we can make billions and billions of smarter decisions that add up to change. The partnership with ACLMA is a transformative step to really advancing air quality monitoring and, and what its potential is for the future. This is something that is going to be very useful to anybody who lives here on this planet. This kind of data will inform decision making at all levels. Google and ACLMA want to deliver a new level of environmental awareness to communities across the country. And that has the potential to really be transformative. For the first time, we'll have a human scale understanding of what's happening in our environment and how it's directly affecting us.